I am going to show you how to create a IntelliJ IDEA project using the Python source files which I have provided in the in the GitHub link. You need to download the entire zip folder and then uh, cut and extract the zip to a local uh, folder which I am going to do now. Let's uh, put it in D drag and before that we will create a new folder with the name IO empty and then another subfolder with the name Python application. Let's uh, paste the zip folder here and then extract it. This has all the source files inside the folder called .idea. There are some mp3 files which I will uh, talk about in the next video. There is a .kv and uh, four .py files. You need to open the IntelliJ IDEA IDE and then create a new project a new Python project actually. Uh, I have a 3.6.3 .3 version in my system. So I'm going to create a new project with the name uh, IOMT main app. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it under the Python application folder which we have created before. As I said, let's call this uh, project as IOMT main app. It will create a new directory since it does not exist. It takes a while for the project to open. There will not be any source files uh, under the .idea folder. So you have to manually copy the Python scripts and then uh, paste everything except uh, the .xml file which we have downloaded into the project folder which we have created. So we will do, do that now. As you can see all the files have reflected here. This is the main uh, Python application which calls all the other sub functions. There's a sys variables.py which has actually the, the IP address and the port for the Vis750SR module to which the instrument is connected. So you can choose to either edit your IP address here manually or you can use the GUI. So we need to create a configuration for building the project. So let's um, create a Python configuration. We have to select the main function, which in this case is going to be main.py. And let's call it as main. And uh, it will be using the interpreter 3.6.3 .3 version of Python. Let's uh, build the project now. It's, it's building, but you probably are not seeing it because the log window is not open. And I'm going to open the event log window. I think it has built and the files are up to date. Let's uh, rebuild just to double confirm. It's done. Let's just uh, run the application now and see if we can successfully open the GUI which I have created. It could uh, open the GUI. I will be explaining how to use this in the next video.